Hello, guys. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hello. Hi, how are you today? Hello, hello, can you listen to me? Hello? Yes, hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Oh, great, thank you. Right? Okay, yeah. how was your day? It was good? Um, very busy. I have a lot of work. Hmm. Okay, but it was, it was good? Excuse me? Was it good? Yeah, good. Okay. That's important to enjoy. I know that sometimes we have really busy days, but we have to try to, to enjoy them, right? Okay, now let's see. Juan, how are you? Okay, Hector, don't worry. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Juan, hello. 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 That's me. I cannot listen. It sounds something. It's some. Um, it's a sound. In the. Huh? Can you listen to now? Not so. It's a little bit interference on the sound. Let me check this out. No, it's better. It's better. Yes. Yeah, that I know. Uh, it's my church. Okay. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. When you have connected the phone yeah. every yeah. single time, there will be interference. Inter yes. I don't know okay. why. But yes, it happens. It happened to me too. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That that's why I can't connect by computer. Oh. Yeah. The same <laughs> problem. Okay. Yes. Oh well. Um, okay, guys. So yesterday we have been working with unit three. We finished with unit three and today we're going to start with unit four. That would be a little bit similar. Because unit two was about simple past. Unit three was about present perfect. As you can see, both structures are so similar. And many times we confused it. So today we're going to start unit four. And that will be about present perfect, yesterday topic, versus simple past. So... I will try today, class, to guide you, to help you to identify when you have to use present perfect and when you have to use simple past. So to start with this exercise, we're going to, with this, with this class, sorry, we're going to have this exercise in which you have to select between past simple and present per perfect according to the rules or uh, yes according to the rules that you already know about both uh, topics so let's see let's see okay let's see the first one if you cannot open the microphone just let me know on the chat and uh, do not to try to not ask you uh, because I know that sometimes you are busy at this schedule and probably you cannot open your microphone. And I understand that That's, there is no problem. 
Okay, let's see the first one. Help me, Sarah. Okay. Sarah, are you there? Can you answer the, the question? Okay, Sarah, are you there? No, I cannot. Hello. Okay, yes, hello. Tell me. Okay, we have the sentence Martin with Paul last year. So you have to select between past simple or present perfect. And tell me the full sentence. Martin has traveled. Past simple. Uh -huh. It's past simple, but has traveled is for Hello. present work. Mm. Just the verb in past. Martin has. Mm -mm. Have. No. Has he have son de presente perfect. Y tenemos que ocupar, como me dices, pasado simple. Y en pasado simple, ¿cómo hacemos una oración positiva? En pasado. Sujeto, then. Mm, what? Drop. Mm -hmm. No. The uh, verb. Travel it. Mm -hmm. Martin traveled with Paul last year. Exactly. Just the verb in past. That would be travel. Martin traveled with Paul last year. Past simple. Mm -hmm. That would be past simple. Exactly. Thank you. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. That would be past simple. Perfect. Then let's see, Javier. Help me with this. Okay, we have one time expression. So be careful with this one because it talk about a recent activity this morning. And we have my cat, right? My cat drink a lot of milk this morning. Okay. Um, my cat uh, has drunk a lot of milk this morning. Okay, perfect. Yes, that will be present perfect. My cat has drunk a lot of milk this morning. Exactly. Thank you. Then, Juan, can you help me with the next one? Juan? Are you there, Juan? No, it's not. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, tell me. Okay. It's, it's, the, it's the past simple, teacher. Mm -hmm. The courage sound, some beautiful song last night in the cathedral. Yes, exactly. We have the choir song. It's past simple because it yes. happened last night. Last night. Yes, it's past simple. Okay, thank you. Then let's see, Byron. Can you continue with the next one, please? Yes, uh, let me think. Mm -hmm. It's very simple. It's very simple, exactly. What would be the answer? His parents gave gave to David a bike for his birthday. Yes, exactly. Just gave is past simple because it's a past action or an action that already finished. Yes. Perfect. Now let's see. Continue, Marcela. 
Help me with the next. It not rain for three months. Present perfect? Mm -hmm. Yes, it should be present perfect. How will, we, how will you create the sentence? It has, has, it has, hasn't, it hasn't rain participle is wrong. This is a regular bird. Yes. Uh -huh. So that would be rain. It's wrong. I know. It's regular. Y los regulares terminan con? And Va, the pronunciation okay. with? It, has, it hasn't uh, rained for three months. Con el sonido T. Okay. Este ED no suena como T. Because of the rule. Uh, rain up. Rain. 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 Okay, that would rain. be. Sorry. Rain. This sound. Vaya, ¿Por qué no rain. suena? With this sound. With this sound. Yes, exactly. With this sound. ¿Por qué? Vaya, con el presente no, con los verbos regulares, eh, donde más nos cuesta son los pasados, porque yes. tenemos estos, estas reglas. Siempre tienen que ver el verbo y cuál es la última consonante. La N, si la buscamos acá, que es la última consonante que tiene el verbo, está en la categoría de D. Entonces, esos ED que tienen los verbos regulares al final, jamás van a sonar como ED. Nunca va a ser rained, nunca va a ser helped, wanted, needed, eso no existe. Siempre vemos la última consonante y de acuerdo a ella buscamos el sonido. Aquí sería wanted, needed, helped, looked, sniffed. Y esta con D, called, clean, offered, como es la N y vemos acá. Tenemos la última consonante, es N, el sonido lo hacemos con D. La estructura está perfecta, has, not, y el has verbo, rain, rain, rain for three minutes, no. Exactly, rain. yes. Just be careful with the spelling of the verb in regular form, in past, because that could be the problem, yes. But yes, it's present perfect. Okay, thank you, Marcela. Now the next one, help me. Okay, that would be Luz. Hello, teacher. Hello. Teacher, what? <laughs> um, how do you pronounce Au? Au 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 Bergin. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I think it's present. Um, present perfect. You have have not overgiving in your life. Mm -hmm. Kidding. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. You you have have not eaten overgiving in your life. Mm -hmm. You have not eaten aubergine in your life. Exactly. That is present for you. Okay. Thank you. Now continue. It's missing. Okay. Sara, can you help me with the next? No, you already participate. Sorry. Abby. Okay. Good evening, teacher. <laughs> Hello. Good evening, sweetie. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. but I haven't seen my cousin uh, since December. Uh -huh. Perfect. Perfect, exactly. 
because it's an action related with the present, a past action related with the present. I haven't seen my cousin since December. Okay, now, Sonia. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Okay, is it past simple? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They slept in a tent two days ago. Uh -huh. Yes, it's a Finnish action. That's why it is past simple. They slept in a tent two days ago. Okay, perfect. Now let's see the next one. That will be... Okay. Let's see. Okay, once again, Hector, can you participate or still not? If you can't, don't work. The race haven't started yet? Yes, the race haven't started yet. Yes, it's present. Perfect. I'm sure the teacher was, I, I, I was eating my dinner. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Okay, there's no problem with that. Okay. Okay, perfect. Now let's see the next one. Sarah, once again, help me with this one. Sara? Are you there? Okay. Juan, can you help me with the next one? Okay. Philip and, and Alice visited us yesterday. Mm -hmm. That would be present perfect or past simple? Past, past simple. Yes, that will be past simple because it's a finished action. So guys, at this moment, you can see most of the time the expressions that help us to identify which uh, sentence or which uh, tense we have to use, if it's simple past or is present perfect, is according to the context that you are talking about or time expression. They'll help us a lot to identify if the action already finished or is if it's still continued in the present, if that was a life experience or it wasn't, and some other situations. So right now we're going to, let me move this. Okay, right now I want to show you this chart in which you can see the difference between them. Okay, the past simple structure, you already know it. The present perfect too, you know the auxiliaries in both of them. With simple past, you have did, you have positive, negative, and questions. In positive sentence, you use the verb in past. And negative in question, you use auxiliary did, and you have to use the verb in Past or simple? Okay, oh, hey, present. Base form. Base form. Base form, exactly. And with present perfect, the same, you can create positive, negative in question. Something that is different here, you use have or has in the three type of sentence, positive, negative in question. And something that we have to respect also is the past participle in the three types of sentence, have or has, and past participle. Okay, I will ask, let's see. Abby, can you help me to read? Okay, let me, this, this chart. Okay, past simple express finished time. And example. And we live in Japan from 1995 to 
1998. Eh, number number two. Refer to definitive time. Example, I saw the Eiffel Tower in 2007. And number three, indicate series of finished action. Example, first he read the book and then he watch the movie. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Abby. So as you can see, we use past simple for finish time, refer to definite time and a specific time, and indicate series or finished action. And if we compare it with present perfect teacher, what would be the difference between them? That is kind of or similar to the opposite, a positive use. Okay, now Juan, can you help me to read this? According to present perfect. Okay. Uh, present perfect. And S plus have a, or has plus Ver and ed. Or irregular. Mm -hmm. Oh, regular, yes. Describe indefinite time. I've worked, I've worked as a teacher since 2011. Second, refer to indefinite time. Example, I have seen the Eiffel Tower and express experience or result. She has already watched this movie three times. Okay, thank you. So you can very guys, it's like the a positive situation. Past simple, finish. Present perfect, unfinished. Past simple, definite time. And present perfect, indefinite time. In the other, they are uh, different. Indicate serious or finished action and present perfect is to talk about life experience or results of something. So that will be the difference between them. I would like to show you a couple of examples, more examples to help you to identify before you continue with some exercise. Now, let's see. Okay, Javier, can you help me to read this? this and just to correct something here is in the positive solo les corrijo acá algo porque si me fijé que está en la posición incorrecta aquí es in japan y no japan in in japan pero así estaba acá en la imagen so i correct this okay go ahead javier help me with both examples okay finish the time we live in Japan from um, 1995. Um, 90, uh, 1998, a time period that started, started and ended in the past. Uh, one more, uh, unfinished time? Yes. Okay. Uh, I worked as a teacher since uh, 2011. Mm -hmm. A time period that starts in the past and continues until now. Exactly. So that would be the difference. A finished time, something that is started in the past and finished in the past because they give us both dates, both years. Right, 1995 and finished in 1998. And we are not anymore in that year. So we use simple past. But the second example, I've worked as a teacher since 2011. It means that nowadays, probably she's still working as a teacher. It's not a finished activity. It's something that continued, but it started in the past. That is the first difference. Okay, thank you, Javier. Now let's see the next one. Okay. 
Let's see, let's see. Hector, can you help me to read the next one? Please, let me look. Definite time. Yes. Okay. I said the uh, FPL tower in 2007. Mm -hmm. In definite time, I have seen the edifice tower. Uh -huh. Okay, Hector, what is the difference in, in between both centers? What can you see is different? In the past simple and the present perfect. Mm -hmm. And in yeah. one of them, we have the year. This. Uh, In the indefinite time, uh, the man is see, actually is see the, the, the edifice tower right now. But we have a specific definite time. That would be a specific. Uh, the date. The date, exactly. That's why it's at definite time. It could be the day, the year, the month, the week. That would be an a specific time. Mm -hmm. But what about indefinite time with present perfect? We? We don't have the date. We don't have the day. Exactly. That is the difference. If you have the day about something that happened in the past, that was simple past. That would be simple past. Si tenemos la fecha, el tiempo definido, puede ser el año, la semana, el mes, el día, etc. Si hay tiempo definido del pasado, simple past. Pero si no tenemos un tiempo definido, that would be present part. I have seen the Eiffel Tower. But we don't say when, which day, which month. We don't have it. So that is the difference. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Now let's see, Luz, can you help me with the next one? Series or finished action and experience. Okay, series and finished action. First, he read book and then he watch movie. Experience, have you ever seen this movie? Mm -hmm. Okay, this one. Mm, it doesn't sound so similar, but you can compare when you ask questions, for example, about something that you have lived in the past. If I want to know, or if you want to talk about your life experience without a specific time and a specific period, we use present perfect. That would be life experience. Have you ever seen this movie? Or you can say, I have seen this movie two times. He visto esta película dos veces. That would be a life experience. Another that could be a life experience was this type of question. This one. Have you ever eaten aubergine in your life? That is another life experience. Yes, I have. No, I have. But when you talk about Finish action, something that you finished. First, he read book and then he watched movie. He finished the book and he finished uh, the movie. So you use simple facts. Okay. The next okay. one. Okay, you're welcome. Now that would be when we... Let me move this. Okay, that is the last one. Now let's see. Byron, can you help me to read the last, the last one? Repeated actions and results. Okay. He went to the cinema every weekend last year. And she has already watched this movie three times. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. 
So we have repeated actions, something that you perform in the past many times. Why in the past? Because it's past simple, the topic, right? Simple past. Repeated times. He went to the cinema every weekend, every year, every month, and so on. When we have repeated actions, or oh, you can also call them routine. Cuando hablamos de, hablamos de nuestras, esas acciones que eran nuestra rutina. ¿Y qué era importante para que algo sea una rutina? Que lo hagamos varias veces. So that would be a repeated action. He went to the cinema every weekend last year. And a result is a consequence of, consequence of something. She has already watched this movie three times. That would be a result. Or a consequence of something. So in this chart, you can uh, maybe, let's see, keep in mind the difference between them because I know they are so, so similar uh, topics. Even one of them is present. It, it sounds for us like if we are talking about the past. A pesar de que este se llama presente perfecto, cuando lo estudiamos, vemos que hace más referencia al pasado. ¿Qué es lo que lo conecta o qué es lo que lo mantiene en presente? Que todas esas acciones aún se relacionan en el presente. Son experiencias de vida, están conectadas con el presente o nos hablan de un resultado de algo, una consecuencia de algo. En past simple, all of them finished and it's not a consequence in the present, it's not a result, um, it's not life experience, just talk about actions that you finish in the past. Okay, the next one, that will be something related to the time expressions that you can use and some of them that you cannot use. So we use the present perfect to say that an action happened at a specific, on a specific time before now. The exact time is not important. So this is, in, this is, this is important for you to remember. The exact time is not important. In which tense? Present, perfect. So this is, could be helpful for you guys. Okay, Hector, can you help me to read this? This, this, this. You cannot use the present perfect with a specific time expression such as uh, yesterday, one year ago, last week, when I was a child, when I lived in Japan, at bad moments, that that day, one day, etc. Okay, perfect. So what it means, all this expression cannot be used in present perfect, but they can be used in past simple. That would be the difference. If you say yesterday, it's past simple. If you say one year ago, it's past simple. Last week, past simple. And with all of them, at the moment, past simple. That day is past simple too. Because they are kind of, kind of in a specific time. And what say the rule? The exact time is not important in present perfect. So if we change, okay, now that could be the question. Which type of expression, time expression, we can use in, in present perfect? Okay, let's see, Marcela, can you help me to read this one, please? We can use the perfect present within specific expressions, such as ever, never, once, many times, several times, before, so far, already, yet, etc. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. As you can see, all of them, they are not specific. They are kind of general. Ever, have you ever seen the movie? Yes, I have. One, I have seen one time. 
I have seen two times and I can continue. Once, many times, several times, before, they are not an exact time in the, if you talk about period of time, like if you compare between the previous examples, yesterday, one year ago, last week, they are exact times. But with present perfect, we can use ever, never, once, many times, several times, before, so far, already, yet, and so on. Okay, at this point, guys, do you have any question? Uh, yes. I have tell one. Me. Yes, tell me. Yeah, but well, the today I was reading a book, and mm -hmm. in a book, uh, there was a, a sentence. That, uh, the sentences was, uh, "I haven't eaten anything since yesterday." If the sentence wasn't present perfect, mm -hmm. but in this case. I know since is connection between the present perfect and the preposition of time. Just mm -hmm. mm -hmm. in this case, I could use it. Since? Since yesterday. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. Yes, you can use it because it means that all the time between yesterday and at the moment that you created the sentence, I haven't eaten anything since yesterday, at the moment that you were saying that, you still haven't eaten anything. That's the reason. Okay, that's why I can use yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, just in this case. Just in that case, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But if you say, I have been yesterday. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, that cannot be. Yes, exactly. But that's why you can say since yesterday, because you, you talk about that moment, since yesterday. Mm -hmm. But if you say yesterday, since yesterday is not in a specific, by si decimos desde ayer, ayer, El día de ayer tuvo 24 horas. Entonces no estamos diciendo desde qué hora exacta no, no hemos comido. Por eso es válido. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Right. So, so, so you, since it's like a, 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 a leaking word to join us both. Yes. Oh. Uh -huh. That's why we say, you can say, I have work in this company since 2014 for example and it means that nowadays I am still working uh, with them yeah mm -hmm. so you start you start before you continue working in the same company exactly uh, okay yes perfect. okay guys so remember with past simple we use verb in past and with present perfect we use verb in past and don't forget have or has dependent the subject and in past simple we don't have to use did in all of them just in negative and questions and something else like this one right i ate a sandwich for lunch that would be past simple i ate a sandwich for lunch but if you say present perfect i have eaten three sandwich today. I have eaten three sandwich today. That would be verb in past parts. That would be different. And that is not an a specific because you say today, it could sound like an a specific day, but today it could be at any hour during the day at 8 a.m., 9, 12 o'clock, 1 p.m. I don't know. I just know that was today, but that's why it's not in the specific. Like at 9 a.m. in the morning, that will be a specific. But if you say today, then it's not in the specific hour. Okay, so 
Okay, just to be clear according to that, I will show you once again the like the difference between them. And let's see. Okay, that was not the idea to show you like that. Okay, Juan, can you help me to read just these two? The first two. Finish time and then finish time. Okay, finish time. We left them Japan and in from 1995 to 1998 on the finish time. I have worked as a teacher since 2011. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. That would be since and a specific year, right? Since 2011. Like the example that you used. Well, the same, yeah, just because 2000 is past, mm -hmm. but but things connect to to the past, to the to the present. Mm -hmm. ah, so, okay, yeah. So <laughs> that sentence means that she or he oh. is still working as a teacher. Oh. Uh -huh. Yes. Nice. Now, okay. Now, Hector, tell me with the next one. Okay, teacher. The finished times. I saw the Edifield Tower in the 2007. In the finished time, I had seen the Edifield Tower. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have definite time, 2007. In definite time, we talk about our life experience, but we don't have the date. The year, the month, the week, it doesn't matter. Okay, now let's see, Sara, are you there? Mm, Sonia, can you help me with the next one? Hi. Okay. Mm -hmm. Continue. Sara, me, uh, Okay, Sonia and the last one, Sara. Okay. Uh, serious or finish action? He read the book and then he watched the movie. Experience, have you seen this movie? Okay, thank you. And the last one, Sara. Repeat a key action. He went to the cinema every weekend last year. Russell, she has already watched this movie three times. Okay, thank you. Exactly. Repeated action that will be past simple action in the past, right? Something that you finished and present perfect that will be resolved. Okay, something that it, it could be helpful for you every single time when something is connected with the present, is present perfect. If the action finished and we don't have to say anything else with that, that would be past simple. That is the difference. So to continue with this one, guys, we're going to have a, some exercise. Okay. I will be asking why one by one, we still have around 10 minutes to practice a little bit with this, with this exercise. Okay, let me open the list. Okay, we'll put it here. Okay, I will start with Byron. You have to select between simple past and past and present part. And you have to give me the, the answer, the full sentence with the answer. Uh, the weather around here. Have been 
terrible in the last few weeks. Exactly. That would be has been, right? Yes. That would be has been. Mm -hmm. Has been, yes. Yes, perfect. Now, continue with Hector. No, no, Hector, no, you can't open the microphone. Okay, I will add, uh, okay, go ahead. Okay, then it's fine. Mm -hmm. Next teacher, I can't right now. Okay, okay, thank you. Let's see, Javier, continue. With number two. Number two? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, let me see. Maria packed uh, her suitcase last night. Mm. The pronunciation of this verb? I don't remember. <laughs> Tell me. Okay, with? Okay, pat. Pat, with T sound, exactly. Because yeah, the last. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay, Maria packed her suitcase last night. Yes, okay, perfect. The next one, that will be Luke. I have, uh, I haven't played volleyball since I was a teenager. Mm -hmm. I haven't played. That would be the the pronunciation. That would be which one? D D D played. D. Mm -hmm. It would be D sound exactly. I haven't played volleyball since I was a teenager. Yes. Okay, Hector, don't worry. Um, okay, teenagers, something like a fun fact about that. If you know teenager, that's why we call it like that. That would be like a fun fact. Okay, esto no es del tema, pero teenager, ¿por qué les llamamos teenager? Porque están entre la edad de los 10 hasta los 19. Entonces va del 10, de la edad del 10 hasta llegar al 20. Por eso le llamamos teen ager. 10, 11, 12, they belong to 10 until 19 years old. Then when we have 20, then that would not be a teenager, that would be an adult. That's why you call it teenager. Okay, next one, that will be Abby. Okay, oh my goodness, I'm not a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Any of us, I think so. <laughs> um, we, we have help in was the ditches. They're all clean now. Mm -hmm. It will be T sound. We have helped. 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 Mm -hmm. We have helped wash the dishes. They are clean now. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now continue with Marcela. They closed the factory really when that happened. Mm -hmm. That would be. They just close it. Closed. But in this case, 
That could be have. Oh, they have classed. Mm -hmm. The factory really. So, really, when? When that happened. Mm, but that is a question. Because we have a question mark at the end. When? Okay. When? Mm -hmm. Have yeah. have to happen. That. That. Okay, you tell me when that happened. Okay. But it's missing the auxiliary. In simple past, what was the auxiliary? Well, el auxiliar en pasado sí. Teníamos un auxiliar que nos hacía que el verbo estuviera en presente. Porque ahí el verbo está en presente. Happen está en presente. Pero necesitábamos un auxiliar para poder dejar ese verbo en presente. ¿Cuál era el auxiliar? No, ese es para presente perfecto. Para, ajá, para presente perfecto. Pero para pasado simple. What was? Happen. No. Ya, ya lo mencionó, eh. No, le, no, no se escuchó. Pero sí lo mencionó. Sí. 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 Hector. Sí. Ok. Sí. 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 ¿Por qué? Porque cuando teníamos las preguntas con when, decíamos que el auxiliar no había que omitirlo. Porque la oración, la pregunta sigue estando en pasado. When did that happen? Lo único que nos hace es pedir más información. They ask more information about. ¿Cuándo pasó eso? Pero el auxiliar para el present, para pasado simple era did. Cuando ponemos okay. did, ajá, cuando ponemos did, ¿qué pasa en la pregunta y en las negativas? El verbo tenía que ir en su forma presente. Acá el verbo tú me lo decías en presente. Happen. Así como está aquí yes. entre paréntesis. Exacto. Y nos faltaba el did para complementar la eh, pregunta. They have closed the factory. Ellos han cerrado la fábrica. Really? When did that happen? ¿Cuándo sucedió eso? Is a connected. Is a new. Desde en los usos que vimos ayer, decíamos que cuando se habla de noticias, también de algo nuevo, de algo que ha sucedido, acorde a lo del pasado, utilizamos el S es pasado, per, el presente perfecto sería, they have closed the factory, pero cuando la cerraron, no lo podemos hacer con pasado perfecto, entonces lo hacemos con pasado, sin really, ok <laughs> really, when did that happen, exactly that was, close, that happened right, that was the first close, era para el primer espacio y that happened yes. para el segundo, por eso tenía la comita yes Okay. Let's see. Let's. Okay. The next one that would be is missing. Nobody else. Sara, can you help me with the next one? And then Sonia. <laughs> Sara, number six. Okay, I cannot listen. Sonia? This question, right? Yes, the question. 
When? No. Your business school. Have you have ever? Yeah. Have mm, we have ever? We we'll start with have. That would be good. But ever in this case, not necessary. Have have you um have you start the your pool? business course? That is the first part. Your business course. Your business course. Have your business. Have your business course. And then the bird uh, start. Start. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because we have jet. Jet mm -hmm. and jet is not for past simple past. It's present for have your business. Now read it the full sentence. Have your business course started yet? Mm -hmm, exactly. Have your business course started yet? Yes. Just this the 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 T sound in this because it should be E D. This one is not. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Now let's see, Juan, can you help me with number seven? Thank you, Sonia. Sorry? Thank you. <laughs> no, just number, that. Seven. number seven. Yes, number seven. Uh, how long have you bought that camera? How About you one month. <gasps> you about, have? About a month. Uh, I bought it. I get lost. Okay, the first one. How long? How long have you have you bought? But have you bought that camera? But we we have two space and just two space. Mm hmm. And the, it's, it's, the how long how long did you did you buy that camera? Mm -mm. No. How long? We have the bird have. That is the present verb. How long have you? And then you have ah, the verb. Ah, ah, yes. I, I was confused. Ah, I have mm -hmm. to. I have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yes. How long have you had had that camera? Yes, I, I, I confuse it. Okay. Just, uh, about a month, I bought it. Hmm. And the next one, I bought it, right? Bought it. That would be. Yes, I was. I was confused. I, I, I thought that I have to, I have to, join the buy at the beginning. Okay. No. Yes. Okay. We have the problem was because we had have two times, right? Half yeah, and then, yeah, yes, 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 yes. It was it was a poor. Mm -hmm, yes, that's why. But yes, and remember the first half is part of the is the auxiliary action, and the other is the verb. In <laughs> yes, in this case, it is a verb. Yes, it's an auxiliary. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, en eso también hay que tener cuidado porque nos puede pasar así. Estamos ocupando el verbo have dos veces. Pero este have está siendo utilizado como auxiliar, el auxiliar del present perfect. Y acá lo estamos utilizando como verbo de complemento, verbo as, el eh, tener. How long have you had the camera? ¿Cuánto tiempo? ¿Desde hace cuándo tienes esta cámara? The same as uh, have you had to go there, for example. Uh -huh. Have you had to, it's, it's a little bit confused because you have to, Use both yes. as auxiliary and as a, and, a, and as a verb as well. 
Exactly. We use okay. both as auxiliary and as a verb. Okay, guys. So I hope for the, with this class that will be clear, more clear, the difference between present perfect and simple past. Tomorrow we're going to continue with this activity. And we have more examples to practice. And that will be the we're going to start with the same, right? Asking why one by one and your answer according to the sentence and for today it's just that we're going to stop here if you have questions if you still have questions according to the topic you can ask me on whatsapp there's no problem i will try to explain you and uh, because sometimes in in the schedule i know that um, probably one hour is not enough right when they are so complicated topics but we're going to try it so tomorrow we're going to continue with this exercise and also how we're going to learn how to use some adverbs. So bye-bye for today and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye, thanks. Okay, bye-bye. You're welcome. A pleasure.